Before we begin, please note that for demonstration purposes, this video was created from the perspective that we previously completed our job setup and we've already created a contract on this job. To create a schedule of values for our contract, let's open a new sitemap by clicking on the plus sign to the right of the dashboard tab. Then let's navigate to job cost, jobs, and jobs. Here we can fill in the job number that you want to create the schedule of values for, or if you don't have the job number, you can simply search for the job name in this field. Then hit enter. Once you've opened the job, let's navigate to the contract by clicking on the billing category on the left hand side in the info bar. Then click on contracts to view the active contracts for this job. Double click on the contract that you want to create the schedule of values for and you will see a separate window open automatically displaying the main properties of this contract. To open the Schedule of Values entry screen, click on Schedule of Values on the left hand side in the info bar. Before we start entering our billing items, let's take a moment and discuss how we will structure these items. When you create a Schedule of Values, you can choose to create it with or without subtotal groupings, which will be displayed on the Draw Request documentation for your billing. For this tutorial, we will be creating a schedule of values without subtotal groupings. When you are setting up your billing item numbers, it is very important that you structure the billing item numbers so that all numbers share the same total number length so that the items sort correctly, both in Spectrum and on the Draw Request documentation. Click on the New button above the grid lines in this screen then enter in the billing item number for this entry. Hit enter to move over to the description field and fill in the description for this billing item. If you need room for an additional description, feel free to enter this information into the next column to the right of the description column. Check or uncheck the taxable box as appropriate for this billing item, depending on your needs. Then hit enter and fill in the original contract amount. Hit enter to accept the projected revenue for this billing item, or you can also manually type this amount in depending on your setup. Enter in any memo that you wish to display on the draw request billing for this billing item number. Please note that if you previously completed the contract default screen, listing the contract sales revenue account in the cost center, then you can skip the next two items. Hit enter again and select the correct cost center for this billing item. If you do not know the cost center number, you can simply click on the drop down and hit enter to search a list of the available cost centers. Now select the correct contract sales revenue account for this billing item. Again, if you do not know the correct GL account number, click on the drop down and hit enter to search through the list of available GL numbers, selecting the appropriate one. Repeat this process for any additional billing items that you need to set up for this contract.
Then verify that the total of your schedule of values at the top right hand side ties to the total amount of your contract before any applicable sales tax. Once you verify that this amount matches, click on the check mark at the top right hand side to save and close out of the schedule of values and your setup is now complete.